everybody it's db all right so this is a little different on this channel this is something i've actually never done like pretty much ever so i had a buddy who uh decided he's gonna get rid of uh his entire collection for the most part for just pokemon he's keeping some of his other uh Yu-Gi-Oh and magic and stuff but uh he knows i sell on ebay and i've sold stuff for him previously but he's never done or he's uh, i've never sold his entire collection i guess um and I was originally just going to give him money outright. And um, then, as you can tell, this card on top is one of the things that is stopping me from probably buying this collection outright. There's other things. So there's PSA, there's singles, and then there's binders. Um, let's just talk a little about the binder at first. So again, I was planning on just paying him outright and giving him about what he would make off of everything with the 20 20%. Which is what I usually charge for commission for doing it. And then I opened up one of the binders and I forgot that he there in this collection there's a full unlimited base set with the hollows. I believe it's full. I, I'll have to go back through it and everything, but he did say it's full. Uh, it's got all the hollows, Charizards in there and everything. So this video kind of is just to help me go through and price everything. So I'm going to be looking at recently solds. Starting with this, so if it, if it seems like I'm hovering for a second, it's because I know that I have to uh, allow a little bit of time for me to put it in the in the video. So, and I will do a total of what this collection should fetch on eBay, give or take. And I'm doing the ultras and stuff a little little weird, so I'll get into that when we get there. So PSA 10, Brilliant Stars, Charizard, Alternative Art, gorgeous card. I can tell you the reason why he has it is that. And you're going to see, I don't think any of this is in order, and I haven't completely gone through everything. But you're going to see a lot of Venusaurs. Just going to throw that out there. And again, this is one of the main reasons why I'm not going to be able to buy the set, probably, or his collection full out. Because I believe that's a 300 and something dollar card. On its own. So, and then we got a Venusaur EX from Evolutions. It's a 9, so that's that's not going to be too much. Some of these smaller stuff, I'm just not going to even bother putting a listing on eBay, and I will just offer most likely what it's worth with the 20% take now. All right, Venusaur, Shadowless, PSA 3. This is a card that actually... Oh, okay, it's on the thing. Uh, was part of this channel. Way back when the channel, probably about a year and a half in, I we bought a collection from a garage sale and that was part of it and uh yeah it got created and then well actually he bought the card off me to begin with so venusaur base set just a hollow psa 4 i gotta remember that not all these are 10s or 9s this is another big one this is where i stopped was when i saw this card i was like all right this is it's this isn't like a 300 hundred dollar card but if we have multiples like this I, there's no way in hell i'm going to be able to come anywhere close i'm not rich <laughs> So, PSA 9, base set 2. Nice hollow boy. This was recent. This was in a recent grading that he sent in with me. Uh, this is not. <laughs> nice Chansey. Look at the gorgeousness. That's, is that on the card? No, it's on the card. Okay. PSA 9, Chansey. I know a lot of the base set was really hard to get for the 10s. I don't know about base set 2. I know actually one of the cards I sold from him was a PSA 8, I want to say. PSA, yeah, PSA 8, I want to say, PSA. PSA 8, um, Charizard. Brilliant Stars, I, That that's, again, that's not going to really be too much. Ooh, ah, that's gorgeous. That's a card I've never owned that I know of. Maybe when I was a kid, but that is nice. Giovanni's Nitto King, couldn't even imagine what that's going for. For 9, I'm going to take a guess. A nine's not first edition, so 45, 50 bucks. Watch how off I am. I believe when we look this up, this is like 100 bucks, but this set's starting to go down, I'm sure, so these might not be. So we got two of those bad boys. A lot of these smaller PSAs will definitely just be kind of probably paid outright by me. And then I'll, I'll sell them later when I have time, because Selling does take a little bit of time when you work six days a week and quite a few hours. Yeah. Brilliant Stars, Cynthia's Ambition, Marnie's Pride, PSA 9, another Brilliant Stars. Uh, Whimsicott V-Star, Brilliant Stars Secret. Um, I don't know, 
Uh, maybe we'll get in Binder next. The uh, Hisuian Zoroark V, PSA 9. Honchkrow V, Brilliant Stars again, PSA 8. And an Alakazam Hollow, PSA 7. So that's it for the slabs. Uh, we'll get into, we have a big old stack of ultras and secrets and hypers and all that fun stuff there. But we're gonna actually get into, uh, all right, I don't know if the binder's actually gonna show all that well. Hopefully it does, since this is kind of, uh, let's just open it up. No, nope, it's not gonna show all that well. Hey, there's Charizard. So I guess, since I'm not really gonna be able to show it too well at all, maybe if I back it up a little. There we go, that's a little better. So it's got all the hollows. They're all unlimited. Um, the condition I've looked at, it's not, I mean, it's no, not perfect, that's for sure. Um, some are much better than others, but you got plenty of the hollows. Ninetales is gorgeous, Zapdos is gorgeous. Um, and then it goes, and then there's a couple fossil, fossil rares in the back. Hitmonchan, Muck, Lapras. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's a complete set, complete collection and, uh, go back down complete collection there. And then, oh, I should have just shown some of the ultras, but we'll go into these. So with these, I'm probably just going to link, <laughs> fell down, <laughs> going to link them as in condition. So if they're near mint or if they're light played or damaged, some of these like something like that they're just going to be thrown into a group and sold or maybe i'll just make them an offer charizard v holy crap i see that card everywhere surfing pikachu so we got some celebration stuff crobat v we got you know some celebrations clay doll two of them whimsica so fairly modern for most of this at least is what it's looking like very modern flygon v he did buy a couple boxes of brilliant stars and what was the other thing he got into? That's an old card, but it is, unfortunately, damaged. Like, that's not, yeah, that's 100% damaged. Jolteon, sweet looking card. What are we looking at condition wise? Not terrible. Uh, not great. Okay. We'll go with whatever that ends up being. Vaporeon. We got some Flareon. I don't even know what these are from. 2006. I don't, are they all from the same set? Yeah, 2006. First edition with Champ. Everybody, I feel like everybody and their mother has that. Butterfree, nice little hollow. Oh, I should be looking out for an electrode. I was told there's supposed to be a nice e-reader electrode in here somewhere. Oh, the birds. Agatha, Dragonite V-Star, Dracovich, Kingler, Raichu, Shaman, Kindler, Rapidash. 2004. Four. Holland Phantoms, that's always cool. And it is actually a hollow. How's the ooh, the condition? There's no bueno. Ultra Ball and a pincer. What was this? Uh, not Leaf Green. Fire Leaf Green. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that one, yeah. That one's got some, some wear as well. So those will probably be, if I'm selling them, will be done by condition. And then again, I'm going to attempt this. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to be able to just take my, my phone right on out. Give it the old try. Sorry if I'm making you all sick now. So we got an unlisted leaf. And it, I'm assuming it's actually signed by Ando, which is pretty cool. Lots of evolutions stuff. Oh, I should have done this with the other. You know what? We still have that binder. We can still do that. And I apologize if I'm making... Oh, is that Fury Fist? Fury Fist. Furious Fist. Some more Evolutions Hollows. Again, I'm going to have to probably pull all these out and look at the conditions. Um, Ninetales. Polyrath. We got some Machamp. All Evolutions again. Secret Rare. That was actually going for a hundred and something dollars in uh, PSA 10. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, that's a promo, I do believe. Well, maybe not. Well, it looks like it's from the actual set. That's from, uh, wow, Shy not Shining Legends. Why can't I think of it? Wow. Can't think of it. That, I know that that's from a deck of some sort. 
All right, and I think, oh, okay, we got a few more. We got Mega Blastoise, Mina. Again, I know this is very different for this channel. <laughs> very, very different. Nice little promo. And Diamond and Pearl. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. So we're just gonna, we'll leave on a nice little picture of Viaplume because we love Viaplume so much. We love Viaplume. All right, now we can get a better view. There we go. There's the old Alakazam looking beautiful in a tallow. The Blastoise is the worst that I've seen condition wise. So it's all gunked up at the bottom there. It looked like there was definitely some, I mean, the, the outsides do, do look nice. I only pulled a few of these out, like Charizard especially. Chansey was another one I did pull out. It looked, I mean, the char, the char, if I was to grade Charizard, I'd probably give it a four, maybe a five. Um, the back had a lot of whitening on it and uh, there was some pretty good scratches on the hollow and there were some dings on the corners. Clefairy, because originally I thought about it, I was like, you know what, if I just bought this and graded everything, yeah, I'm gonna be in the hole quite a bit. But uh, if they're gonna bring like sevens, eights, nines, but they're not. Mewtwo, and these are gorgeous. Just gorgeous freaking cards. I know this you used to come in a deck, so that's not super rare. Where did we see Gyarados already? If we didn't, we should have. Venusaur, because Gyarados, I know is a big, oh, okay, yeah, we did see Gyarados. That's a big, that's another one from the deck. Um, I'm just gonna do a little outlook. Just very nice. Magikarp, everybody loves Magikarp. Magikarp, grr, grr. Again, I apologize if anybody's getting sick. I don't, I don't typically do this, so. We got the rares, Poke Breeder, Blast. And hey, it can't get kind of, Oh, we have a jungle. That's that one that's on the card. No, it's not. Cool. Nice little hollow. Nice little jungle hollow. Um, and then some jungle cards too, huh? It's pretty cool. Butterfree? Oh no, not the first edition. First edition's got the uh got the error. We got anything cool? Arbok. Yeah, again, I'm, I haven't actually really seen gone through all this completely, but now I can. And I can actually say what everything's sold for. All right, so I'm not gonna make anybody more, anybody sick. So um, anyway, that's the whole plan. Um, yeah, if you like the video and you wanna see more of this stuff, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because I don't know how often this is gonna come, but yeah, if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, such, and see ya.